The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to our learning session. I am Edith Amabo Bell, your Form 5 English language teacher. Today, we'll talk on the general presentation of the program for Form 5, the objectives, the competencies, and the previous knowledge. Concerning the presentation of the program, there are five modules. Module one, family and social life. Two, the world of business. Three, environment, health, and well-being. The fourth, citizenship, feed, media, communication, science, and technology. The first module, family and social life, has real life situations. The first example of a real life situation is settling disputes. It could be at school or at home, making valuable contributions during family meetings, forming and taking part in associations, be it at school or at home, developing study and leadership skills, exploring educational opportunities. The second module is the world of business, which comprises combating unemployment, generating income, starting and running a business, managing financial and other resources, creating common initiative groups, and an online shopping center. The third being environment, health, and well-being has self-medication and its ears during pandemics like COVID-19, pollution and environmental protections, managing mental and physical health, global warming and climatic conditions, and lastly, tourism. The fourth, citizenship, has real life situations like exploring cultural values and practices, rights and duties of a citizen, virtues and vices in the society, measure changes using the internet, the field being media, communication and science, technology has real life situations like using the internet for research and study purposes, for media and for employment purposes, assessing global issues in the media. Now, for the Form 5 lesson, we have the following objectives and competencies envisaged. One, listen for a variety of purposes like for gist and details, speak fluently and coherently in given context like conversation, speech, dialogue, read purposeful, purposefully and extensively, write expressively and coherently for a variety of purposes and audience. The prerequisite of this lesson is that learners listen for gist and details, learners listen and identify key points, learners learn and infer meanings from context. 
Model one, being family and social life, has the following real life situations. Settling disputes at home and school, making valuable contributions during family meetings, developing study skills, forming and taking part in associations at school and at home, exploring educational opportunities. This is a recapitulated table of the real life situations under module one. Now, today our lesson is on listening comprehension. In this lesson, learners will listen to a passage about Carlos Jameson's life at school and at home and answer subsequent questions. The plan of our lesson is that it has an objective, an objective, prerequisite, subject matter, an activity, a lesson summary, an application exercise, and an assignment. The objective of our lesson is that learners should listen attentively to a passage about Mac Carroll Jemison's, who is an Afro-American and answer 10 questions related to her school life. The prerequisite knowledge for this lesson is that learners can listen attentively for specific information. They can decipher meaning, map pairs, homophones, and homonyms. They can as well identify character traits. Let's begin. List any two problems that students face in school. The answer could be students face problems such as discrimination from teachers, injustice, stigmatization. What should a student who suffers from such a problem do? Yes, ignore them and continue to study hard for his or her future career. Now, I shall read a passage to you twice. During the first reading, you should listen attentively without writing anything. The title of the passage is Mark Carroll Jamison. May Carroll Jamison was born on 17 October 1956 in Alabama, USA. A medical doctor and an astronaut, she was the first African-American woman to travel to space in the shuttle Endeavour. The family moved to Chicago because she, her parents wanted her to take advantage of better educational facilities. Jamison was keen on studying science. In nursery school, her teachers had asked her what she wanted to be. She said she wanted to be a scientist. But the teacher said, don't you mean a nurse? Jamison answered, now there is nothing wrong with being a nurse, but that's not what I want. As a young woman growing up in Chicago, she thought she could go to space. I thought by now you'd be going to space like you'd be going to work. Later, Jameson was inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. Jameson said, when I think of Martin Luther King Jr., I think of an attitude of audacity and bravery. The best way to make things come true is to wake up. She was in her two minds about what she wanted to do. After graduating from high school in 1973, this young, talented girl entered Stanford University at the age of 16. She earned a double degree 
one in chemical engineering and the other in Afro-American studies. Jemison said that measuring in chemistry as a black woman was difficult because race is always a problem in the USA. Some professors would pretend that I just wasn't there. I would ask a question and a professor would act as if I was a dumb and say things like, that's the dumbest question I've ever heard. Then a white guy would ask the same question and the professor would say, that's an astute observation. When Jameson obtained her degree in medicine in 1981, she became a peace volunteer in Sierra Leone and served as a Peace Corps medical officer for Sierra Leone and Liberia from 1983 to 1985. One outstanding thing she did was to ignore the instructions of the embassy in Sierra Leone. She looked after a seriously ill Peace Corps volunteer for us and then got her evacuated by plane to Germany. When she was reprimanded for her actions, the doctor simply said she was saving life of a volunteer. That was that. Jameson became interested in NASA and applied for a job. NASA turned her down at first, but she was accepted on her second attempt in 1987. She worked with a first-class set of astronauts after the Challenger accident. Jameson left NASA in 1993 and founded her own company called the Jameson Group. The company focused on developing science and technology in daily life. In 1994, Carol Jameson founded the Dorothy Jameson Foundation for Excellence, naming it after her mother. Jameson has helped many charities to raise money. And she has worked on many projects to protect science. Today, she continues to promote science and education, and especially getting minority students interested in science. In 2009, she participated in a forum for promising girls in Washington, D.C., along with Michelle Obama. You have two minutes to look at the questions. Do not write anything until I ask you to do so. The first question, Jameson's parents moved to another town because the options are A, they wanted to move to another city, B, they thought about her future, C, they were poor, D, they loved the town. Question two, Jameson was interested in science because A, she liked her teacher, B, she was clever, C, she was ambitious. D, she was naughty. Question three, Jameson's response, but that's not what I want, portrays her as an ambitious girl, A, B, a determined girl, C, a courageous girl, D, a shy girl. Question four, who inspired Jameson? A. Michael Obama, B. Martin Luther King Jr., C. Peace Corps Medical Volunteer, C. D. Afro American Men. Question 5. Why was Jameson in two minds when she graduated? A. She was young and foolish, B. She liked doing many things. C, she was proud. D, she had no time. Question six, racism was a problem to her because she was a woman. 
B, society wanted racially prejudiced at that time. C, Barack Obama was from Chicago, and D, she had black parents. Question seven, while in the Peace Cup, Jamison Dash A showed great courage, B, worked as a soldier, C, was a missionary, D, accepted peace, question eight, NASA eventually accepted Jamison because of A, she was an experienced astronaut, B, she was well qualified, C, she loved the Japanese, D, she danced the Japanese dance. Question nine, what does the pronoun it in naming it stand for? A, the Dorothy Jamison Foundation for Excellence, the Ma Mi Ma Michelle Obama Foundation, the African American Women Foundation, McCarroll Foundation, and the last question is, question 10. Today, may Carol Jamison dash A, enjoys her fame, B, works with middle Michelle Obama, C, strives to help girls and minorities succeed, and D, promises girls some reward. Now, I'm going to read the passage to you for the second time. This time, you may note as I read. May Carol Jemison was born on 17th October, 1956 in Alabama, USA. A medical doctor and astronaut, she was the first African-American woman to travel to space in the shuttle Endeavour. The family moved to Chicago because her parents wanted her to take advantage of better educational facilities. Jamison was keen on studying science. In nursery school, her parents, teachers had asked her what she wanted to be. She said she wanted to be a scientist. But the teacher said, don't you mean a nurse? Jameson answered, now there's nothing wrong with being a nurse, but that's not what I want. As a young woman growing up in Chicago, she thought she could go to space. I thought by now, I'll be going to space like you'll be going to work. Later, Jameson was inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. Jameson said, when I think of Martin Luther King Jr., I think of an attitude of audacity and bravery. The best way to make things come true is to wake up. She was in two minds about what she wanted to do. After graduating from high school in 1963, this young, talented girl entered Stanford University at the age of 16. She earned a double degree, one in chemical engineering and the other in Afro American studies. Jameson said that measuring in chemistry as a black woman was difficult because race is always a problem in the USA. Some professors would pretend that I just wasn't there. I would ask a question and a professor would act as if I was dumb and say things like, that's the dumbest question I've ever heard. Then a white guy would ask the same question. And the professor would say, that's an astute observation. 
When Jamison obtained her degree in medicine in 1981, she became a peace volunteer in Sierra Leone and served as a Peace Corps medical officer for Liberia and Sierra Leone from 1983 to 1985. One outstanding thing she did was to ignore the instructions of the embassy in Sierra Leone. She took after a seriously ill Peace Corps volunteer for hours and then got her evacuated by plane to Germany. When she was reprimanded for her actions, the doctor simply said she was saving life of a volunteer. That was that. Jamison became interested in NASA and applied for a job. NASA turned her down at first, but she was accepted on her second attempt in 1987. She worked with a first-class set of astronauts after the Challenger accident. Jamison left NASA in 1993 and founded her own company called the Jamison Group. The company focused on developing science and technology in daily life. In 1994, May Carol Jamison founded the Dorothy Jamison Foundation for Excellence, naming it after the mother. Jamison has helped many charities to raise money and she has worked on many projects to promote science. Today, she continues to promote science and education, and especially getting minority students interested in science. In 2009, she participated in a forum for promoting girls in Washington, D.C., along with Michelle Obama. Now, you're going to provide answers to the question. Question one, Jameson's parents moved to another town because the answer is B, they thought about her future. Question two, Jameson was interested in science because she was ambitious. Question three, Jamison's response, but that's not what I want, portrays her as B, a determined girl. Question four, who inspired Jamison? Five seconds. The answer is B, Martin Luther Jr. And the sixth, fifth question, why was Jamison in two months when she graduated. Two minutes, second. She liked doing many things. Question six, racism was a problem to her because B, society was racially prejudiced at that time. And question seven, why in the Peace Cup, Jameson Dash Showed great courage. Question eight. NASA eventually accepted Jamison because A, she was an experienced astronaut. Question nine. What does the pronoun it in naming it stand for? Two seconds. It stands for A, the Dorothy Jamison Foundation for Excellence. And the last question today, may Carol Jamison dash? Yes, the answer is A, she enjoys her, she strives to help girls and minorities succeed. As a summary to our lesson, we learned about Mark Carol Jamison, who was the first African-American woman to travel to space. She was keen on studying science. She suffered from racial discrimination while in school. 
She was inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. She worked with NASA for one year. She is the founder of the Dorothy Jemison Foundation for Excellence. Now, take down this assignment. Write down any three achievements of Makara Jemison's mention in the text. I take it all over. Write down any three achievements of Makara Jemison's mentioned in the text. All right, our next lesson will be on reported speech. Una tege si ma tege yop, una tege minga ma tege nyum, una tege ma jang ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia ninya ne njubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndong, esotina bia jinkido, ma ne tambia ninya.